Hi, I'm Malit Chechere and welcome to the special edition of Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. On November 4th and 5th, the first conference on mapping urban areas from space took place at ESA's facility in Frascati, Italy. Satellites offer us key information on our planet on many fronts. The conference enabled scientists and data users to present first-hand and up-to-date results from their ongoing research and application development activities. I got the chance to discover what is so important about monitoring cities from space or how satellites can help on both global and national levels for interpreting images or updating maps. Let's go take a look. With me are two of the scientists who spoke at the conference, Mr. Thomas Esch of the German Aerospace Center and Mr. Jean-Philippe Cantu from the French National Institute of Geographic and Forest Information. And let me start with a question for you, Mr. Esch. Could you please tell us why do we need to observe cities from space? I mean, we are in and out of cities every day, but what is so important about actually seeing them from space? So basically, cities have been and still are the gravity centers, let's say, of economy, of society, and as such, they are, of course, very important um, drivers of innovation, but also of prosperity. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we should have a vital interest to guarantee a sustainable development and management of urban areas. Okay. And what information do you actually obtain from satellites? So we can cover several, let's say, scales mm -hmm. of ranging from global applications about the location and distribution and development of settlements, also going down to very localized information, for instance, on the distribution and type of green roofs. Ah, okay. And could we have a few examples of some remarkable differences that you found in images featuring maybe two different scenarios? So one scenario is, for instance, if we look at the global settlements patterns, mm -hmm. so meaning the distribution of settlements, we see that, of course, the pattern is a result of the historical development and the natural landscape behind it. And um, of course, depending on the area, there's a huge difference, for instance, if you have a look at the European settlement pattern, com pattern compared to a European settlement pattern. Okay, thank you. All right, and Mr. Cantu, we just got the perspective from Mr. Esch of how satellites work on a global scale. But what are your special requirements on a national level as a French governmental institution? So, in at the, at the national level, we uh, we have a, a very, very high demand for more and more resolution okay. of the images, as well as uh, a more frequent revisit. Okay. So uh, to make those uh, requirements, uh, let's say, compliant, uh, you cannot do it either from satellite imagery mm. or from IR photography. So um, uh, what we decided at IGN is to propose a complementary approach. Mm -hmm. So using the IR photography as it is with a cycle of uh, three or four years mm -hmm. to cover the, the French territory and, and use the satellite uh, imagery to meet some specific requirements on uh, specific targets or for uh, specific uses uh, uh, su such as, for example, coastal erosion. Ah, okay. And how do you actually use all of this in updating your maps? So presently we use uh, the, the two satellites. Uh, one is Pleiad, mm -hmm. which is at 50 centimeter resolution. We use it to update the, the French national uh, uh, geographic uh, system okay. uh, on specific urban areas or, or on the coast as well. And uh, we use also the Spot 6, Spot 7 constellation, which is very new. And uh, we could experiment that uh, uh, with uh, this uh, new spot generation. Uh, we could cover the entire uh, French territory uh, every year. Okay. So this is a very good, uh, uh, very good news for for users, since they will be uh, able to to have a, a kind of snapshot of the of the of France every year. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Ash, and thank you, Mr. Cantu, for joining us today on this special edition of Earth from Space. Goodbye from the Web TV studios.